The official Veterans Day is still a few days away, but the annual Veterans Day parade was held Saturday in hopes of bringing more people downtown to salute the troops. Bob Allen now with that story. The 95th annual Veterans Day parade in downtown Pittsburgh gave many people an opportunity to say thank you to the men and women who have served their country in peacetime and in war. We have a brother-in-law that's a veteran and we're very proud of him. It's honoring all the veterans that were serving for us and I think it's just great to have this to honor them. Normally the parade is held on November 11th. But it was switched to the weekend in hopes of boosting attendance. Some veterans think it's a good idea. I think it's great. I wish they could get more people down here, though. You know, it is a Saturday. Everybody should be here at the parade. You know, I think that it's the least they can do is to show up at the Veterans Day parade. It's nice the kids can come out and see what it means to a lot of people who have served in the service and the friendships they have made from that. 80 organizations and veterans groups marched proudly through the streets. Veterans from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, the Persian Gulf, and Iraq wars. Meanwhile, the public was invited to the first ever Steel City Salutes the Troops event held in conjunction with the parade at Point State Park. It was an open house to celebrate the present history and future of the military in Western Pennsylvania. Here in the Western Pennsylvania region, we have one of the largest and, uh, and oldest military and veteran populations in the country. And a lot of people aren't aware of that. So today's a day to celebrate who we are and what we have. The event at Point State Park is also designed to raise money for the military families and allow the public to meet and greet men and women who proudly represent Western Pennsylvania in the armed forces. Bob Allen, KDKA TV News on Pittsburgh CW.